Welcome to the Animating Biped 101 uh, video tutorial. Uh, this video involves using what I refer to as my four and a half step process. Uh, right now we're setting up steps one through three which is to uh, select the tracks on the biped which position the biped in world space and set a keyframe on each one of the tracks. Uh, even if we're not ultimately utilizing the track such as track rotation uh, it's still a good habit to set that track uh, that way in case we do end up using it we already have those keyframes locking our character into position uh, right now I'm going through and essentially working on step four which is to pose the character so steps one through three is to position the character in world space step four is to pos uh, is to pose the character so one of the uh, main things to understand about Character Studio and the arms and the legs is there are three different types of keyframes you can put on the legs. Uh, to utilize the IK chains, you essentially need to use planning keyframes, which is uh, what was just happening in the video uh, when I was working on the feet there. Uh, planning keyframes will, will lock down the feet in world space, so that way if you're adjusting the pelvis, if you're using your tracks, uh, and you move the rig around, the, the feet do get planted. You can also use those on the hands. Uh, utilizing the planted keys and the sliding keys is actually step four and a half of this process. Uh, it, it's all about deciding where the weight of your character is. Uh, we don't want those feet to slip. Uh, if they slip, it looks like our character is falling down. You know, it's unnatural uh, when we have our weight on our feet. If, if they're slipping, we're falling. So. Uh, obviously, during an animation, a walk, a jump, you know, uh, opening a door, whatever the case is, we want to make sure that our feet are planted, and that's what those keys do for us. Uh, so we would just want to go ahead and uh, utilize the planet key uh, and, and the different key system uh, inside Character Studio to go ahead and lock those down. Uh, the hand here uh, is another cool feature. I'm about to use a Character Studio. I'm going to key it. And then I'm going to go ahead and rec uh, copy into a collection uh, essentially that pose of the hand and just mirror it over to the other side. And we're going to see that I'm going to utilize this a couple of times to, you know, I already have the pose, I need it opposite to create the cycle. Well, I'm just going to go ahead, uh, copy paste it, uh, and really kind of speed up my animation. And, and once you get that, tool system down you can do a lot of damage real quickly with the animation uh, and don't forget you know uh, as we're animating animate the pelvis animate the torso animate the clavicles uh, you know a walk cycle is more than just moving your arms and legs we need to make sure that we are animating the entire rig one of the big tricks to understanding how to animate with this rig is getting the planet keys sliding keys and free keys down. Um, so when I move the rig right now using the tracks, both feet are going to be locked down because they have planted keys. But I'm going to want that back foot, the green leg, to be moving with my character as he takes the step forward. And essentially the weight would transfer onto my blue foot, the, the left foot. And, and that's exactly what those planted keys are going to do. So. Uh, what you do is as soon as the weight would release off the foot, which in this frame would be keyframe one, you would set a free keyframe um, to break up the planted keys. So that way on frame 20 you could come out and plant the foot and make sure that you lock the foot down in world space. If that keyframe was in fact there at frame one, that free keyframe on the foot, essentially the two planted keyframes would not allow those uh, feet to move at all so they would be locked back in world space uh, as you move the pelvis forward so that one little free keyframe back at frame one uh, freed up the feet or at least freed up the green foot uh, so it can move forward here I'm just going to finish up this keyframe by fixing some of the uh, keys that I didn't want to be transferred over using the copy paste function uh, accidentally got transferred into the bones I'm using for the hair of this character. Um, so went ahead and deleted those off. And now I'm making adjustments to the feet. Honestly, probably should have made these ones uh, back when I was doing the original keyframe. Just wanted to move the feet further underneath the character uh, to help more so show that it supports the character's weight. Um, you know, 
a, a lot of times when we pose the character or have the character in its original pose, the you know the feet may be shoulder width apart, sometimes even further than that, sometimes closer. Um, but that needs to be adjusted, of course, for the walk cycle uh, to make sure that we are accurately supporting our character's weight. And once again, just kind of breaking up those uh, keyframes right now on frame 21 when that blue foot would be released, so it's going to slide with the character. Uh, so as soon as you want the weight to be released off the foot, you just have to remember to set a free key so that way the foot slides with the rig, uh, while the other foot that remains a planted key will remain locked in world space, showing you know that it's supporting that weight. For a quick review on the four and a half step process, uh, what we want to do uh, for steps one through three, it's all about the tracks on the biped, which of course uh, control the BIP of the biped, which is the node of that rig. So that's going to position the biped within world space. Uh, step one is body horizontal. Step two is track body vertical, and step three is track body rotation. Uh, select each track and go ahead and uh, set a keyframe, and that will take care of steps one through three. Steps four uh, is to pose your character, uh, whatever pose the animation is going to entail. You know whether he's crouching because uh, he's about to jump, whether he's in you know the passing pose of uh, a walk cycle, uh, whether he's swinging a baseball bat. We're gonna pose our character into the proper position to uh, represent that keyframe. Um, you know, of course, representing the 12 principles of animation, uh, making sure you have strong silhouettes, and you know, all the still applies uh, when you want to go ahead and animate this rig. Um, to finish off step four, you want to make sure that you set a keyframe on all the entire rig. And this is going to prevent uh, the rig from accidentally um, changing on that keyframe uh, because maybe you forgot to animate the forearm or set a keyframe on the forearm and a couple frames down the line you do and instead of animating from that keyframe it will animate through the keyframe so that's going to make sure that no matter what happens before or after this key uh, that animation is locked down so step four is to pose the character and then finalize the that pose by setting a keyframe on the entire biped easiest way to do it double click the pelvis it will automatically select the whole biped for you go ahead and throw in a quick keyframe step four and a half uh, is to use the planted keys sliding keys and free keys uh, to go ahead and lock down either your arms and legs uh, during the animation number one reason you want to do this represent your character's weight where is your character's uh, body weight being held up is it from the ground in his feet you know you're gonna have to lock a foot so you know it actually looks like the weight is on that foot uh, maybe he's dangling from a cliff you can lock down the hands pulling himself up from uh, the monkey bars whatever you can lock down the hands on the bars and go ahead and represent that you know he's holding his weight with his hands so a planet key is gonna lock the foot in world space a sliding key is very similar to a planet key uh, although it allows for rotation, uh, where a planted key essentially it's locked, you know, it's not going to rotate or anything like that. Uh, so a sliding key, um, I, I more commonly refer to it or as a pivot, you know, a pivot keyframe. And then we have a free keyframe that represents uh, the standard keys inside 3D Studio Max that we've been using up until this point, you know, that are uh, standard keyframes in pretty much all pro programs. Um, but step four and a half is really about deciding where your character's weight is, what foot the weight is on, how it's distributed across the body, and locking that down in position using those sli uh, planted sliding and free keyframes. As I'm finishing off the walk cycle animation, uh, observe how I'm using that copy paste function. It's a great uh, utility inside Character Studio and it's one of those things that you know really kind of makes Character Studio stand out from a custom rig. There's advantages disadvantages to you know custom rig versus the biped, biped versus custom rig. This copy paste function is a huge advantage uh, to, to the biped. Uh, we have the pose on the left side we want it to be a symmetrical walk cycle we can simply mirror it over to the other side so it works fantastic you know it really does save you a lot of time when you're trying to do cycles um, and ultimately utilize that tool. Um, 
know, I can't stress that enough. It really does kind of help you produce real quick animations uh, very quickly and easily. Um, so this will give you a nice base walk cycle that you can use animation layers to tweak it, you know, uh, adjust the pose, uh, exaggerate it out uh, to really get some emotion showing through that biped. Uh, don't forget that once you have the animation, you can save it out as a bit file, load it onto other bipeds. Uh, so spend some good time getting a solid walk cycle down, because once you have it, you can ultimately use it on other bipeds, other characters, uh, and get that base animation down real quickly, and then adjust the timing, uh, adjust the poses through animation layers. Uh, so, you know, utilize that tool as well. Thank you for watching this video.